Okay, so HBO decided they were going to make a Watchmen TV show. And I think if you took the graphic novel, you could probably get two seasons out of that. You get two seasons. It would be pretty nice, pretty cool to see it faithfully adapted. And you get some good actors in there. The movie, as much as I liked it, and I did like the Zack Snyder movie. I thought it was all right. The ending, well, you know, there's going to be disagreements on that. Let's not even go into that for this video. But for the most part, it was a decent translation of what there was and what they had and what they could do in two hours for an entire graphic novel. So you would think, well, for HBO, we're going to do it better. We're going to do it faithfully. Nope. <laughs> Instead, they decided to do some weird sequel that doesn't make any sense. So I've watched reviews from Comics Matter. I watched some Neurotics reviews. And it sounds like it's a dumpster fire. Okay. It's it's Wokeman is basically what it is. Wokeman. They took the show. and They took this. I don't know how you read. How do you read... Watchmen and say, I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a show about race. So of course the media is loving it. I've seen Polygon say, This is show of the year, deserves awards, masterpiece, American art. Of course they are, because well, white people are trash. So you got this one. Watchmen's provocative portrait of race in America has its own creator worried. Well, he should be worried, because when you have scores like this, something's wrong. So when I heard the premise of Watchmen, I knew this thing was going to be fresh as fresh can get over on Rotten Tomatoes. And it sure as heck is. 93% amongst 45 critics. Audience scores, though, a little bit more divisive at 49%, 392 users. Uh, I would also like to point out Alan Moore does not want his name attached to this. I don't know if that was the same with the movie. I'm going to guess so. Uh, he doesn't want a sequel to this. Doomsday Clock, for better or worse, in my opinion, is as close as you're going to get to an actual sequel. That is the ongoing DC Comics sequel going on in the DCU, which is actually pretty decent, though it's taking too damn long for the show or for the book to finish. I think it's been going on like two years now for 12 issues. It's kind of killed the hype for that series. But the last issue is next. I'd imagine, you know, you sit down, you read it all in one shot, it'll be much better. I will do that when I get it. Uh, that series is actually pretty decent. This, however, is going to go down as forgettable. So, Alan Moore, I'm sorry that they keep trashing your name with this trash. Because it's unfortunate that this show is attached to one of the greatest pieces of comic book literature ever made. Regardless, if you like it or not, Watchmen definitely has had an impact on American comic books for sure. So, audiences are kind of mixed on it. 392 audience score. I'd imagine more people are going to come in and it's going to get lower. That would be my guess. <laughs> that would be my guess on Watchmen. I don't see it being successful. I don't see it driving audiences to their seats every week. I'd imagine, if I had to guess, my take would be that the most of the reviews are going to be negative as we go forward because it sounds like a pile of crap. So let's go ahead and go to the audience reviews. Every critic review is going to be, you know, how amazing it is and how it's it's needed and that it should be copied like the red parations that they use in there, which is incredibly stupid. Of course, it's going to be used as a model that everyone should get some free money. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these reviews. Really good first episode. This is the next, this is next level TV. Regina King as Sister Knight is everything I needed and the best making white nerds crying. So we got this woke person coming in. Hates those garbage white people. And uh, I would like to point out that Regina King, uh, her actual her costume actually looks kind of cool. But guess what? She's uh, 5'5", 5'7", 140 pounds. And I guess she's one hit quitting, guys. That's what a Comics Matters review said. That she's just one hitter quitting guys all over the place. This little buck 40 thing is just everything you would imagine a hardcore fighter to be. Okay, we got two more reviews here that aren't so focused on making uh, white nerds cry. Got this one, obvious pandering garbage. Regina King beating up anyone is a total joke. The target audience is not comic book readers. 
I think that's a fair assessment. I think most people that love Watchmen probably aren't going to like this. Got this one here. This show has a new hot take on racism. It's saying that if you really sit down and think about it, racism is bad. Seriously, though, if you are a huge fan of Moore's intrepid inspired writing in the original graphic novel, this isn't for you. It's just another product of the Hollywood regu regurgitation machine that takes old creative ideas and slaps a diverse cast and a progressive message on them, and then critics call it bold and masterful. That is actually perfectly said right there. Uh, we take it, regurgitate it, slap a diverse cast on it, put a progressive message on it, and man, that is a bold masterpiece. Give it an Emmy, give it a Globe, give it an Oscar. Maybe the show isn't what it seemed, and future episodes will be better or have something thought-provoking to say. But it's so hard to get through the first episode, it will be hard to continue watching. It was boring. It was hardly anything to do with Watchmen. However, if you've never read the graphic novel and are unfamiliar with the source material, you might like it. But only if you are open to extremely weird ideas which is about all it has in common with the original. There is a reason Alan Moore has renounced this and asked that they don't use his name in conjunction with the show. I'm going to go ahead and whisper no on this one. We've got some more takes here. Awful. This show should be called Wokeman. So bad. First of all, it should never have been made. The original graphic novel was amazing. Snack, Ciders, Snack Zack Snyder's movie was good. Not great. The expanded... With the Black Freighter is awesome, though. And that's it. It should have ended. Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons both disown this crap show. If they did anything, they should have done a prequel to Watchmen with the Minutemen comic series. And that's actually a good idea. I'd have liked to have seen that. It would have been a time period piece, too, which I, I happen to like time period pieces because so much work goes into them. I, never mind. We can get into that into a different video. If they had to do something... Even then, it's pushing it. This is a woke nightmare. Just crap. Total disrespect to Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons' vision. Go here. Love the show. Excited after the first episode. Okay, this person loved it. Go here. What a horrible first episode. This is going to be a weekly SJW liberal rant about racism and white people. And if you want to show something hilarious, if you want to read something hilarious, go to Regina King's Twitter and read Lindoff's open letter to Watchmen fans where he says they purposely didn't hire the dreaded white male to work on the series. Lol. Oh, not just the dreaded white male, but the evil white hetero male. Total insanity. Lindoff talks about diversity, but you know there isn't a single person working on the show that has a different political opinion. <laughs> That's probably 100% correct. Wokeman is just the latest example of the woke mob infecting a franchise that used to be good and leave nothing but total destruction in its wake. So they've got two more on the first page, and then that'll probably be it. It's clear that the critics give more points to woke TV rather than TV that just focuses on telling a good story. That's true. That is true. And that's another reason why critics shouldn't be trusted anymore, because they're more about the progressive message than a good show. I think a lot of people have figured that out. I also firmly believe this is one of the reasons that anime is becoming more and more popular because it doesn't hold those Western values, which are complete garbage now. Uh, you don't have those values of Hollywood and Silicon Valley kind of creeping into the stories over there. So people are just picking up and moving moving east for their, for their entertainment. And, I mean, I don't have anything to back that up. It's pure speculation. But if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. So anyway... HBO's Watchmen plays out like a revenge fantasy of some moody blacktivist rather than a comic book show. There's absolutely nothing of substance here, and each scene just feels like cringy virtue signaling to half of the audience as the show's writers tell the other half to piss off. This is rated higher than The Sopranos, really says a lot about these professional critics. Show is boring and not very accurate to the comics. So before I jump off this, I want to show you one thing here. So... I showed you the first page of critic reviews for audience scores. I want to go over some people that gave it good scores for the audience, okay? Now, one thing that I've noticed about some of these scores that have all stars, all five stars, is they have a message to say. They come in here to fix 
the bad reviews is what they're doing because they love shows like this and they love to be lectured to they love to be flogged while they're taking the entertainment so here's here's a couple this one comes in here five stars this show is it's amazing totally flawless who didn't like it whoever didn't like it is crap so if you have a negative opinion then this person you're a piece of crap just like steve c who comes in here five stars so many whiners with the same complaint this show doesn't honor their white male privilege time moves on losers many most all comics reflect the times in society when they're written in the case of watchmen that would be 1986 of course the series will upset incels and men's right snowflakes they should run upstairs with your smelly basement liar and see if mommy will make them a sandwich and listen to their butt hurt griping about the black woman who destroyed their world today so Steve C. here, obviously a man of peace with that symbol. I think it's funny that the modern hippie will smash your face in. You know, back in the day, they would want to take you and uh, have a group love session with you. Totally different contrast of the two. But anyway, that's the kind of five-star rating there. So you can see that people are coming in there to try to help it. They don't last, though. Uh, the more and more people that see this will start to outnumber them. I imagine that 49% dropping quite drastically. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I have no plans, <laughs> no plans to watch this series. So unless something big happens that makes headlines, this will probably be my only video on Watchmen. Though I've said that before with Joker. <laughs> and you know how that turned out. So uh, if you're looking for reviews, obviously I would look to sources like uh, Neurotic or Comics Matter. They always have pretty good opinions. Well, actually, sometimes Comics Matter, Mr. Mister Richard Meyer, uh, it does not have the greatest takes. Uh, his Star Trek Discovery reviews <laughs> aren't that aren't, uh, a little, a little uh, forgiving. I was surprised but glad to see. He did not care for Watchmen. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Make sure you're still subscribed. And uh, that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.